Hey everyone, Hillary here, uh, an educator from the Children's Museum. I have a game for you today. I'm going to show you how to play it. This game is called the Scribble Game and it involves scribbles. This is a game that I've played since I was little. My mom showed me how to play this and I have loved it ever since. So I really want to share that with you today. This is a game that involves interacting, social interactions. It involves creativity. So turning on that really creative side of your brain, those really, really core things need to be turned on when you are stuck at home, uh, not having a lot of things to do. Turning on those creative parts of your brain is very crucial. So let's do that today. All right, so this is a game that's called, again, it's called the Scribble Game. It, first, you should have somebody else with you. Um, it's usually a two person kind of a thing. One person will draw me a scribble. My husband just drew a scribble for me a little while ago. So this is his scribble, just a few lines, right? Now I, the other person, I have to draw, I have to draw something from these scribbles. I have to create something from this seemingly uh, boring scribble, right? So we're gonna, I wanna see. Sometimes I like to look at it from this perspective. Sometimes I like to look at it upside down. <laughs> like I turn the whole thing around. Sometimes I like to look at it from the side. Could it be different this way or this way? But actually, I think I see something. So hold on, let me see. I think I see something in this scribble. Let's see what I see. Hmm, I see, I see a sailboat in the ocean. So we're gonna draw it. Now you have to use this as your guide to make your sailboat. I'm gonna draw, this is the top. This is actually a part of the wave. These are some really crazy waves out there, right? You've got your sails and your strings everywhere. And these are the people and they're going crazy because there's so many storms out there. There we go. And here's some crazy clouds and some crazy thunder. Oh my goodness. And now we have created a crazy scene of adventurers out in the ocean, out in the sea. So I've created that drawing just from that little tiny scribble. Isn't that cool? So you might have not never drawn this if you hadn't have gotten that scribble in the very beginning. Uh, let's do one more together, okay? Tear this off. Also, your paper doesn't have to be this big, right? You can just use a regular notebook paper. Doesn't matter, right? All right, I'm gonna try one more. Uh, usually, I'm gonna do playing this game by myself because I am by myself right now, but obviously you will be doing it with another person. So, I wanna make another scribble. All right, there's my scribble. What can I do with it? What am I going to make out of it? Hmm. I'm gonna look at it from the side. Huh. You know what? If I flip it around, I think I see something. If I flipped it around, look, you kind of see a silly alien. So here's where the eye is. I wanna make a crazy alien. Here's some teeth. Here's the chin, right? There's some crazy things coming out of his head. <laughs> There's, oh, it kinda of looks like a skeleton at this point, doesn't it? Oh, weird. <laughs> now I have a crazy, crazy alien man. 
that I drew from just that scribble, right? So I hope you enjoy this game. Please try it with your friends at home or your family at home. Um, I really, really hope that you fall in love with it just as much as I did. Have fun. Stay healthy. Bye.